Hello beautiful people, what's up and welcome back. We're getting started right away with the food today and I will link today's recipes down in my blog. So make sure you watch the entire video. Give me a huge thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and check out my blog links down below so you can save those recipes. So we're starting out with a birthday cake protein bar and if you don't have a protein powder or don't want to use one, I will leave some substitutes down below. But I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've been doing here in the last month, and I'm going to do a full-on video sharing everything in the next couple weeks, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. But I decided after my morning walk, yes, I said walk, not run. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I've already been doing all month for the most part, but you might not know the diet changes that I have been on because we are on a TTC journey. And I don't know if I'll make a full video about that because I don't know, I just feel like it's so personable, but we'll see, never say never. So I decided to go ahead and make protein bars this morning after my walk, and this is what I had as a breakfast. These bars are great, they stay for a week in the fridge, and you can really use any nut butter or ingredients you have on hand to really make this work. Like I said, I will leave some alternatives um, in the, recipe below. So that way, if you want to use something other than what I have, you can. So what I am using is a half a cup of quick oats that I pulsed really quickly and made into an oat flour, and then a half a cup of almond butter because I can't have any other butters, like nut butters, they kind of bother my stomach a lot, and a um, three quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. I didn't have any agave on hand. I also wanted to kind of make these a little less fat, if you will. I'm still looking to have a fat source in them, but the recipe originally called for one cup of nut butter, and I was like, that's a lot. <laughs> Anyways, a little bit of vanilla. If you have a little bit of lemon extract, add that in because vanilla and lemon together just really make a really awesome birthday cake flavor or even a little bit of like almond extract or maple extract. But if you want these to be sweeter, add a little bit of agave, maybe like two or three tablespoons for the whole batch. This makes six bars. I like to make these about once a week and then I have them on hand. This is my favorite protein. I will also link this down below. I shared this on Instagram. So many of you were like, oh, I didn't know you use this. I share it all the time. I feel like in my videos and on Instagram. So maybe you missed it, but vanilla is my favorite flavor. And sometimes I'll get the chocolate, but vanilla is just so easy because you can bake with it. You can make bars with it. And I use three scoops of this. You can use any plant-based protein powder that you may have on hand, or if you're not plant-based, use any protein powder that you have. But these are just a really great snack. They're super filling, super delicious. I did go ahead and add a little bit of water here. You can use water or almond milk or nut milk, whatever, um, just because they do get a little dry. And I was just kind of playing with this recipe, kind of making it up as I was going along. But now I'm obsessed and I've made these things like four times in the last couple of weeks because both my husband and I love them, but I switch out the almond butter for him for peanut butter because he can't have almond butter. So anyways, but I went ahead and put these in a glass baking dish with parchment paper, pressed them down as best as I could. They are going to be sticky. They are sticky. So just keep that in mind. You can also put another parchment paper on the top and kind of press it down. Go ahead and add some sprinkles because that's what makes it pretty. And if you have kiddos, then you know they're going to eat them. <laughs> you can also roll these into balls, but go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for two to three hours. I just set it in there like this. I don't cover it or anything. This glass dish does have a cover, but I don't, I don't bother. And once they're done, you can go ahead and take them out and cut them into pieces. I cut this into six pieces, which I feel like is the perfect bar for me. Each bar slice ends up being about 15 grams of protein, which I think is awesome. It's a very well-rounded snack or meal. Like I said, I went ahead and had two of these for breakfast, and then you'll see what I had post-workout before lunch at the end of the video because I'm sharing that at the end to kind of tie it to the workout. But I'm also gonna be sharing with you some effortless tips for simple weight loss, just kind of what I've done the last month. And like I said, I'll do an entire recap video sharing what I've done for workouts, but this will give you a general idea of what I've been doing for food every single day, four meals every day, and everything is like very balanced, but these bars are so good. Please take me on Instagram if you try them or let me know in a comment below in one of my future videos because they're so delicious. This is a like 
much needed recipe for summer. I'm always looking for like no bake recipes, ways to use oatmeal, ways to use nut butters, ways to use protein powders, just simple pantry ingredients that are really wholesome. And I feel like the sprinkles just really add to this, but you can definitely do dried cranberries or raisins. You could add carrots. That would be really, really good with some cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, you could do chocolate chips. There's so many different variations you could do with this recipe. Hello, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a what I eat in a day. We just got done with a fantastic workout. I'm gonna share workout footage at the end of this video, but I made those birthday cake bars that you saw in the beginning. And now we're heading to Trader Joe's and I'll do a little shop with me slash Trader Joe's grocery haul if we get anything that's worth sharing, I guess. Even just a little bit, I'll share that with you. And then we're gonna do lunch. So welcome to today's video. Mini at Trader Joe's haul. I didn't get too much. I kind of went for like a little bit of lunch, a little bit of dinner. I don't really need anything and I'm doing a use it up challenge. So I've never had these and I'm gonna make them for dinner tonight. And I thought I would grab an extra bag because I know my husband loves cauliflower. I needed a salad mix for today for lunch because that's what I wanted. And I'm actually gonna have one of these for lunch. It's the rice cauliflower blend with tahini, uh, chickpeas, sweet potatoes, tofu, and roasted onions, so good. I love these for just like the convenience of the fact that they're like 300 calories. You can add some greens to them. It's like the perfect meal when you don't wanna cook. <laughs> Hands up, I don't really feel like cooking right now. I got some flowers, which I've been rotating um, for my dining table every week or two, just depending how often I need them. Got some fresh basil for dinner tonight. I needed some seaweed. This is something I've been including into my diet every single week just to get some extra iodine in a different way besides um, just with regular salt that I use. Got some tomatoes for lunch and dinner and then this hummus dip, so good. I bought it a few times, but just recently been like super obsessed with it. So there's our little Trader Joe's haul. I love Trader Joe's. Jumping in to lunch, I love what I eat in a day videos because I think it shows such a realistic way of how I eat compared to like the extreme budget meals. But I of course love doing those too because I'm super frugal, but Trader Joe's is my favorite grocery store. And we literally went there today instead of getting lunch out, we went to Trader Joe's instead and just picked up a few things because I'm currently working my way through like a no spend pantry video, but I just had the itch and I needed to spend a little bit of money. <laughs> it was still cheaper than going out to eat. Like I said, I'm super frugal. So this was just like a no cook meal. I knew I was gonna make a huge dinner this night and I just decided that a microwave frozen meal, which by the way, these do technically have gluten in them because they have soy sauce in them. But if I don't have too much soy sauce, my tummy is usually okay. I get questions on that all the time. I'm not celiac, but gluten does bother my stomach. And I just read an article the other day about how so many people have a gluten intolerance but don't actually realize it but it can come out in like skin tummy issues digestion bloating just like a whole bunch of different things not to scare you but if you ever doubt if you have issues with gluten i'd highly recommend removing it for a little while and see if you feel better my husband had this potato taco a couple of days ago he loved it so i've saved the recipe card to show you guys because this recipe was amazing when you order from Green Chef, check and see if they have this one. You're gonna love it. But tonight I'm making the roasted garlic fennel flatbread along with the pasta, just so we can have like a pasta pizza night. And we had a really hard workout earlier, so I know that my husband's gonna really appreciate just having some extra calories. And he loves Green Chef meals. Watch my channel at all in the last two years. You know both my husband and I love Green Chef. And thank you so much to them for being my longest sponsor they are so supportive of us. It's insane. And I just feel like it's such a good partnership because we love their food. We look forward to it every single month. And it's my husband's favorite. If you've never heard of Green Chef, stay tuned because they have an amazing deal for my subscribers. They always hook you guys up. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company with options for every lifestyle, no matter how you eat, keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. They bring more flavor to your table with delicious and nutritious recipes. Everything's delivered right to your door. So not only does it save you time, it actually saves you money. Did you know that if you go to the grocery store hungry, you're more apt to spend up to 35% just going hungry? Yeah, it happens. So if you're looking to save money, sometimes getting online, ordering, and having it delivered directly to you saves time, money. Talk about convenience. Green Chef is the number one best meal kit for eating well. Make more time for your other goals with convenient, wholesome meals from Green Chef. 
My husband and I do eat differently, but one thing we can always agree upon is Green Chef meals. He looks forward to them all the time, and I love that he loves how many veggies are packed in this meal. One thing with our TTC journey is that our doctor recommended that he has greens and veggies at every single meal, and I feel like with Green Chef, I can make that happen in the most flavorful, wonderful way without him like complaining. I know that sounds weird, but he loves food. He loves all food but he doesn't love vegetables. And with Green Chef, they just have this way of adding seasonings and sauces and flavors in a way that I just, I'm not a professional chef. (laughs) So they just help us out so much. Use my code Miranda60 to get 60% off plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. That's Miranda60 to get 60% off plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. And yes, I'm also making pasta because we were so hungry. We worked out so hard this day. And actually, I'm not sharing footage from this day's workout because I actually didn't get very much. And I realized I made it into a reel over on Instagram, but I didn't get enough footage to show everything. So I'm actually going to do a full body workout the day that I'm editing this and going to include it. And then with that, I'll give you tips on how I've lost six pounds this month. And I accredited it really all to my fertility doctor. She told both of us, you both are healthy. You both eat well, but like, let's take it up a notch. And honestly, if I'm paying someone that much money to help me with my TTC journey, I'm going to listen to what she has to say. So one of the things she told me is to have a fat, a carb, and a protein at every single meal. I let her know that I typically follow a high carb, lower fat, moderate protein plant-based diet. And she was totally fine with that, but she did want to see me eating more protein and more fats just to have a balanced diet. I tend to be very extreme, and I think that shows over my videos, um, but she just said, let's not change you know, everything that you do, but let's start including more and finding a balance, really, and I really love that she kind of you know, didn't try to change who I am or what I like or my mindset. She just wants me to add more, and I think that's like such a good thing to think about instead of taking away and restricting, like let's make life more beneficial, I guess. So here is my actual dinner. I had this with salad. So I'm having lots of good, healthy fats and tofu for protein. And then I had the same thing for my husband and then he could enjoy some of the pizza as well. And he ended up taking some of that pizza to work with him the next day. And it's like the perfect thing left over. Green Chef is like so good about (laughs) their meals tasting good, cold, hot, leftover, it doesn't matter. But So that is just like one of the food tips that I've really worked with this month is I eat four times a day and at every single meal I have a carb, a fat, and a protein source. I don't worry about always having a veggie source. I obviously still eat vegetables, but I make sure that those are my three components that I hit at every meal. I am so excited to share with you some tips for easy, effortless weight loss. Now, there's nothing really scientific about anything I'm about to share with you, but this is just my mindset. Anytime I want to drop a few pounds, I have learned to work out for the joy of it, not for the calorie burn. Yes, it does burn a few calories, but when you really enjoy it and look forward to it every single day as a stress reliever, as some you time and find a workout that really brings you joy, no matter what that is. Yes, you will get the benefits, the health benefits, the calorie burn, but it's not why you should do it. I've recently stopped running as much, and I'm going to share in next week's video kind of more in depth about my last month of kind of cutting back on running and kind of what I've been doing, but I've been lifting so much more and just really, really enjoying it because it feels new. It feels different. And I was told to stop running so much. And like I said, I'll give you more details on that next week. Another thing is, is to not only find something that brings you joy, but to continually do it. The more effort you put into whatever it is, whether you're training for a race or you're walking every day or you're lifting a few times a week, is to not stop, continue doing it. And you will see so many changes in your body, in your stamina, in your endurance. Drink your water. You have to drink water. I've always struggled with drinking water. I got this water bottle. I'll link it down below. And it has helped me so much. I drink at least one of these a day, which is a half gallon. Sometimes I even drink two of them. If I'm walking and really just need the extra water, you have to drink your water. Now, I know a lot of my super plant-based people 
who follow Starch Solution may disagree with this one, but I have found this to be very, very true for me and my body. And I think it really comes down to different body types, what your preference is for how you work out, et cetera, et cetera. But making sure I get my protein in every single day, like I said, just gathering a meal that is protein, carbs, and fat, that has helped me tremendously. I was noticing I was having blood sugar issues. And like I said, I can go over more of that in next week's video, but I found that having more protein every single day really was beneficial to me for just effortless weight loss. Making sure that my workout was not my only movement of the day. Really truly having a larger TDEE, totally daily expenditure of energy and making sure that just because my body had acclimated to running every single day doesn't mean that that should have been my only workout. Kind of seems counterintuitive if you really think about it, but on days that I lift, on days that I run, I still get 10,000 plus steps a day. I know that's like an arbitrary number where I feel like we hear both scientific and non-scientific ways to, you know, whether you need it or not, but making sure I get my steps in has been huge. When I was running, I do feel like I was a lot hungrier because I was burning a lot more calories and not necessarily always using them. Um, you know, you have to use them to recover, but a lot of times you just get so ravenous when you are running 40, 50, 60, 70 miles a week. And running is definitely not a way to lose weight if you are training to be good at something. But definitely making sure I get 10,000 steps a day, whether it's at work and getting 10,000 and then coming home and getting my additional walk in every single day has definitely benefited me this month. And lastly, as many of you know, I am an early riser. I typically work out at four in the morning. This day I was actually working out after work, but getting in enough sleep every single day has really benefited me. I definitely was not sleeping enough when I was training for my ultra race. I know that, but at the same time, it was something I really wanted to do. So I, you know, made the sacrifices and the time for it. A lot of times I was going to bed at 8.30 or 9 p.m. and then getting up at like 3 or 3.30 to run, sometimes even earlier. And I knew that was making my body really, really tired. So now I definitely make sure to get at least seven hours of sleep a night. Um, instead of like five and a half or six, and it has definitely benefited me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and come back for next week because I'm going to give more details in just kind of how I've changed my workouts in the last month and kind of a challenge I did for myself, and you're going to hear more details on my weight loss as well. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.